<clears throat> Hello, you beautiful people. Um, it's been a while, quite literally. Um, I wanted to come in to address you personally. Um, so, I am still trying to figure this whole YouTube thing out and figure out what exactly I want to do with my channel now that I'm starting to upload videos consistently again for all of you wonderful people. This vlog that you're about to watch was filmed on the 4th of July, which means that I didn't upload on Friday. And yeah, I said that was going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I'm realizing now that committing to a certain schedule with the life that I live might not be the best idea because I did not want you to be like, he said that I didn't do. Um, but yeah, so like I told you before, I'm a youth pastor. So a lot of my time is either end up working on sermons or spending time at the church or in meetings or planning things. And when I'm not doing other things like hanging out and all the fun stuff that you see me do, my other time is spent doing that. So committing to doing a certain thing um, every week really doesn't work because different things happen at the church, different things happen, you know, like I'm not always going to be able to have fun and do random activities and, you know, it's not always going to be interesting. I don't want to film a whole vlog of me sitting in meetings and like having to be like, oh, this is what I'm doing and then like, or film every Sunday of me doing, going to the church because it's going to be the same things over and over again. Um, so what I have come to the conclusion of is that I want to do videos two times a week or more, um, but I'm going to do at least two. Like I did like daily vlogs a couple weeks ago, or I did like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Like, I'm just gonna upload consistently two videos to this channel at least. Yeah, and so you get updates and you might get a little more, a little surprise, but I need to make sure that I'm balancing my time spent working on things and spending time with Jesus and my family and my friends, and I will share all that I can with you, but if I cannot, I can't. And I hope you understand that. I hope you guys are liking the vlogs. I'm really, 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 really liking being back on YouTube, meeting people, connecting. It's awesome. You're all awesome. I love vlogging. I really do. It's fun. It's going to be good. Yeah, so today's vlog, 4th of July. Um, this week, my um, my family is coming to town. Oh, I got a text message from my wife. Hi, wife. Um, family's coming to town. We're going to the zoo and the keys and do some other random fun things. So that's going to be good. And yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, 13. Going to the pool. So at the pool, it's hot. Happy 4th. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but it's the 4th of July currently. And I'm at the pool with Cassie and Samuel and Brittany. And I don't I don't typically like laying by the pool because I'm kind of dark already. And yeah, so I'm gonna get a book. I'm gonna go back home and get a book. Because I'm gonna be bored if not. How are you doing? I go home, I'm dying. It's hot out here in the streets. And I don't know if this music. Samoa. All right, what do we need for a Colombian hot dog? Lay's chips. Okay. Pineapple sauce. Pineapple sauce. And then that mix of ketchup and mayonnaise. I mean, it's good ketchup and mayonnaise? Yeah. Okay. So if you're gonna hear me earlier, we rode to Publix, because it's 4th of July, we didn't have any plans. Sam was with us, and he's Colombian. So we're gonna make Colombian hot dogs. Do we need honey barbecue lace chips? No. Regular lace chips. Chips are on this side. Any certain kind of hot dog? As long as it's a good hot dog. <laughs> we want beef or pork? Beef, all beef hot dog. All right, so far, Looking for Samuel's pineapple sauce for his Colombian hot dogs. They don't have those. They have pineapple jam, but that's not the same. And yeah, hot dogs. All right, we couldn't find the hot dogs. We're gonna go across the street to this place that makes them. We're gonna get. Actually, either we're gonna buy some there, or we're gonna find the sauce there and make them at home. Either way, I'm gonna have a Colombian hot dog. Oh, 
Colombian. Crazy Colombian. Is that how they cross streets in Colombia? <laughs> so, if I was completely wrong, you cannot buy this uh, sauce. They make it. They make so, it here, and they won't tell us how to make it. So we're gonna look up how to make it. We just got back from Publix. We ran out of Publix, and we're getting these chips for a meal tonight. And the lady saw this bag of chips, and I turned around, and I turned back around, and she was like, Oh, these chips are Bob and get one free. I'm about party size. And she like went and got them for me and replaced them. And so I saved money. Thank you, Publix. Shopping truly is a pleasure. All right, same one called his mom, who's currently in Colombia. And she told him how to make the pineapple sauce. So. Okay, actually, let's do something. So, Samuel so dropped the uh, pineapple sauce on the floor. So, um, our whole journey for Colombian dogs <laughs> has come to an end <laughs> quite quickly. So hot dogs for dinner it is. Samuel. All right, for the new mission, Samuel wants to go back to that restaurant we were at. They're gonna give us the recipe. We're going to buy the Colombian dogs and then we are going to compare the American traditional hot dog to the Colombian dog and see which one that Cassie and I, the Americans, like better. <laughs> this one is massive. You need both hands. I got mm -hmm. you. Okay. Colombian dog. It's sausage. It's good. <laughs> I approve. Cassie's Colombian dog. <laughs> Out of a 10 rating, what would you give it? A seven. Seven, okay, that's fair, that's fair. If you don't want it, I'm right here.